here's another Vibranel product. This one is a probiotic supplement. It is not a gummy. Not sure that you want a gummy probiotic. That would be kind of weird. It is horse pills. Horse pills. You can actually break these open. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't see any reason why you couldn't, but you could break these kind of capsules open really easily and dump them in water or juice or whatever. So this one, it says, also they smell bad, but I, I think probiotics always smell bad because like it's food for bacteria. So anyway, it says one capsule taken one to three times daily, preferably with meals or as directed by a healthcare professional. So three of these a day is like a lot, a lot, a lot. In my personal opinion, I don't like taking pills every day, so I don't remember to take pills most of the time when I have vitamins and things, so yeah. But I guess, you know, whatever your doctor suggests is best. And of course, like their other products, this one actually does have a warning to not take if you're pregnant, nursing, or a child, or if you have a medical condition without first consulting a physician, which is great advice. I do believe they should include a statement that no one at all should take these without first speaking with the healthcare provider because you just never know how you might react to something. Plus, your doctor needs to know everything you're taking just in case things don't mix well. Um, it's important. It's also important to speak with your pharmacist to make sure they're aware that you're taking this so that they don't give you something that would mix poorly with it because that does happen. So, yeah, this is contains probiotics consisting of DE111, which is Bacillus subtilis, Lactobacillus rhamnosus, Lactobacillus casea, Bifidobacterium longum, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus plantarum, Bifidobacterium brevae or something? I don't know. So yeah, ingredients. Vegetable cellulose, maltodextrin, and medium chain triglycerides. So, yeah. Um, you're supposed to refrigerate these to keep them good longer because they've got live things in them. So, basically, it's like bread yeast. It works better or lasts longer if you put it in the fridge. So, if you're not going to take them all within the time limit, there's 60 capsules. If you take one a day, that's two months of capsules. If you take the three a day, that's not going to last very long at all. That's I'm sorry, my brain can't math right now. That's 20 days. Wow. But yeah, um, probiotics can help everyone, especially if your diet's not the best and you don't get a lot of fermented foods. Personally, I like to eat kimchi, so I don't have to worry too much because kimchi is like my favorite thing and I like to put it on everything. So I'm weird, but that's healthy fermented food that helps with probiotics. But I don't think there's much harm to adding a supplement on top. I don't know that there's ever been shown to be any real benefit to a probiotic supplement. And most supplements in general really aren't that beneficial anyway. But if you need a little boost and your doctor says you need a little boost, you can check out these ones. They're reasonable. They don't they smell terrible, but if you don't crack the capsule open, you don't taste anything when you swallow it, so that's always nice. All in all. Yeah, always speak to your physician before taking any supplements.